Casa Loma is the number two tourist destination in the city after the CN Tower, so it certainly speaks to its popularity. It took 300 men three years uh, to build this. Casa Loma is a 98-room home mansion on a hill perched uh, above the downtown skyline of Toronto. It was the home of Sir Henry Pellet, who was one of the, at the turn of last century, was one of the wealthiest men in Canada. He loved uh, secret passageways, so uh, in his office, which is on the main floor, uh, on either side of the fireplace, there's a secret wood panel. Uh, the one on the left goes upstairs to just across from his bedroom, and the one on the right of the fireplace goes down to the wine cellar. There's about five and a half hectares of state gardens that surround uh, the castle. Actually, if you're standing in the middle of them, you have no idea you're in, you're in the middle of a city. The castle is famous for its architecture, famous for its history, and also famous for the film work that's been done here. It, it can be anything from a medieval castle to a futuristic school for mutants. For instance, the very first X-Men, all the interiors for the school were done here. And we actually do a tour that, that walks you through the building and lets you see the clips of the various movies that were done here and in the locations they were done in. The estate comprises 170,000 square feet. Part of that is the stables complex, which is actually across the street. He had asked the city to close Austin Terrace, which is the street in front of the castle, and uh, they said no. So he said, fine, I'll just dig a tunnel under it. So there's an 800-foot tunnel that connects the main building with the stables. And in those stables, he housed his prized horses. And Sir Henry's horses actually lived better than most of the people in the city at that time because his horses lived in these beautiful stalls, mahogany wood, Spanish tile. So they really had quite a, quite a life of luxury here. There are stories that you can hear horses' hooves uh, as you walk through this tunnel some days. There are definitely rumors of the, of the castle being haunted. Uh, in fact, we've actually developed a ghost tour uh, based on staff experiences. We have a little trouble keeping some night cleaners because in the middle of the night when you're in the building and you get a tap on the shoulder, uh, from behind you and turn around and there's no one there. It gets a little, a little scary. There are definitely things going on in this building.